This is your ESPN Alamogordo Tiger Athlete of the Week Spotlight, brought to you by the Winner Circle and Vision Ford Lincoln. This week's athlete is Bryson Kangas of Tiger Soccer. I feel like you guys had a really good last week. I know it's overall been not the season y'all had hoped for, but it uh, seems like the team has really picked up the way that they played the last week. Is that the way you're feeling about it? Yeah, I think we've got um, a lot more confident with our uh, formation and our play style, and I think that we're getting into these tougher games towards the end of the season, and we're really finding our form, and these games are getting really close and tough, and it's a hard fight all the way through every game now, so it's good. How exciting was it to get that win over Centennial? Because, I mean, the team just cheered after the final whistle blew in that game last week. Uh, what was that experience like for, for you and the rest of the guys? Uh, it was a great experience for all of us, especially because uh, Cody scored the winning goal, his first goal of the season, so that put it a little bit better for him especially. But it was a great feeling. And I know it wasn't a win on Saturday to play Gat. I mean, you guys had a real tough one against Gas in the first time. To take them to overtime and play them as tough as you did, was that also a really great experience for the team? Yeah, I was. Uh, the energy in that game was just there. Everyone was excited to play. Everyone wanted to play, and we wanted to win. So uh, it was a great feeling throughout the entire team and the coaches. How about how do you feel like your play has been? You've switched into a new role this season from a defender to further up the field now. Um, how would you assess the way that you've played this year? Um, I still think I have a defensive-ish mindset, so I'm still uh, getting back as much as I can to help the defense. But being able to push up more and uh, really distribute the ball a little bit more, I think it uh, has helped me a lot as a player and just helps the team get the ball around a little more. And you got to score some goals this year too, right? Yeah. That's always exciting because I mean, usually as a defender, you don't get that opportunity. <laughs> Was that uh, fun to be able to put some in the back of the net this season? Oh, definitely. Especially uh, most of them are headers this year. So that's always a great feeling too, to put them in with your head. Awesome. Fantastic. You know, you're coming to the end of your Tiger soccer career. What, what do you think you're going to remember the most about, you know, being a part of this team and being playing with those guys? Um, probably just the guys, honestly. Uh, I've been playing with them for so long now, especially uh, even the newer guys that have just started coming up to varsity now. We just have a great bond, and it's uh, it's just a lot of good fun with them, so that's yeah. good. Are you, are you going to try to continue soccer after high school, or is this going to be it for you, you think? Um, hopefully, I'll keep playing uh, after high school. Okay, and do you know what's coming up next for you at college or something else? Uh, not sure yet, just kind of waiting for track season to roll around and think about it more from there. That's right, and you do have track season. Do you know what you're, you're going to be running again this year, have an idea of it? or uh, Probably more hurdles and middle distance stuff. Okay, well, we'll look forward to that. Of course, you had a good season last year. Looking for an even better season this year, I would anticipate? Yes, sir. All right. Well, we'll look forward to that when springtime rolls around. And uh, you guys have one more home match. Uh, next Saturday against Deming will be the uh, will be senior day. Uh, I'm sure you guys want to finish off the season strong, right? Yeah, exactly. We just want to punch in two more wins in these last two games and finish strong. Congratulations on being athlete of the week, Bryce. Thank you.